Hi, I'm Mariah Carey, and I'm going to read some of your fan tweets. Cam said, now that it is snowing and officially Christmas, it is illegal to listen to anything other than Mariah Carey's Christmas album. Sorry, I don't make the rules. <laughs> I love that, but there are some classic Christmas albums we have to include on the list. I do, but I still have all I want for Christmas, like every third song, so no, just kidding. I listen to a variety of Christmas music. Had no idea All I Want For Christmas was written by Mariah. It just feels so timeless that I guess I just always assumed it was a cover. And I didn't even know people were still making original Christmas songs after 1958. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm actually flattered that somebody thought that that All I Want For Christmas Is You was a cover. I think a lot of people think that, but I did write it as it was the first Christmas song I've ever written. It was very early on in my career, and every year it just makes me happy. So um, hopefully it makes other people happy too. I didn't try to make it sound like any specific time. I wanted it to be a classic. So hopefully we did that. Ricky said, All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey just reached a new peak and became a Billboard Top 10 hit this week, even though it's over 20 years old. If that isn't an inspirational story to never give up, then I don't know what is. Yeah, it's pretty inspirational. I will say we've had some dramas, but the thing is, is that the enduring quality about this song makes me really proud. For the people that don't understand the difference, there's the holiday chart, which this song has topped, and then there's the overall Billboard Hot 100 chart, which um, it reached its peak last year, number three. So it was very exciting. Jack said, it's officially November 1st. All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey is back in my playlist. Yay! I don't know about November 1st. I mean, I'm happy because we're re-releasing the album and that's happening on November 1st. But for me, I'm gonna wait until that day right after Thanksgiving and then go hard with it. But some people have a tradition of listening to the Merry Christmas album starting November 1st, and that's what we're celebrating this year. So please be my guest <laughs> to listen to it starting November 1st. What could be wrong with that, darling? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.